So the world of online marketing, we all have to be experts these days, but it's a constantly moving feast, isn't it? Algorithms are changing, and sometimes it's really hard to know where to put your effort. That's what we're going to be talking about this week. So online marketing and where to put your effort, where to put your money. This week, we are talking to an online marketing expert, Alex, who's been with us before. Good to see you again, Alex. Thanks for having me. Uh, so what I'd really like to t ask you this week is kind of what things are working and what things are not working. So, I mean, if I look back over the years at some of the stuff that I've done, I pour loads of money into Google ads and Facebook ads. And mm. what, what things are not so effective and what should people really be doing? Yeah, so uh, it's changed a lot over the years. Um, you know, SEO was king back in the day and went into paid ads and stuff like that. Email was king. Um, but these days it's, you know, it's changing a lot. It's changing the curve. And, um, you know, these days I'm finding uh, a lot with the paid ads is uh, are quite expensive for a lot of businesses these mm. days. You know, there's uh, in the divorce attorney's niche, it's about $80 a click. Wow. So, um, uh, and then you've got plumbers, it's about $25 a click. Uh, digital marketing companies, mm. about $20 a click, stuff like mm. that. So it's getting really expensive these days. I, I know that's a discussion that we've often had about my businesses. And uh, we, we spend quite a lot on, on Google ads and not so much on Facebook ads, but, mm. you know, other sort of paid ads. And I keep saying to you, look, should we cut it back? Should we spend the money on something else? But you're sort of saying, oh, it's good to keep a sort of base level going. Definitely. It's good, it's good for brand new purposes and also... Um, if you're up there in the ads and you've got uh, your SEO listing down the bottom as well, they're more likely to actually click mm. on you. So it does help your organic listings yeah. as well. So, so you, you mentioned email marketing. So, I mean, we've been doing events for 20 years and, and the way that we'd get people to events would always be, you know, emailing our list. We've got quite a big mm. list. Um, I've, I've noticed we're not getting as much cut through on that these days. Is, is email marketing a bit of a challenge? Yeah, so um, a massive problem in these days is the spam filters on mm. um, email campaigns. So uh, especially Google is very cluey on to mm. uh, what comes into people's email addresses these days. So. Um, yeah, very hard to get around that, unfortunately, and there's not mm. much you can do to to get around it. Um, th th there's a couple of pointers I can give that can mm. help, but um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, it's a uh, it's one of those cases. What, are the, what the, are the pointers? The pointers, <laughs> the pointers are um, yeah, a lot more content, uh, yep. not selling all the time. So mm. if people aren't clicking through onto your links, um, going through and looking mm. at stuff that you're putting out to these um, email campaigns. Um, basically, uh, the the email filters see that people aren't interested in it, oh, okay. and uh, then it drops deliverability to other okay. people. Okay. So, um, so more to uh, so make the content interesting. Make it interesting that someone wants to click the link. Yeah. Correct. Make it interesting. Yeah. People click through to it. It gets mm. to more people. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you're selling all the time, obviously people aren't clicking mm. on the links as much. Yeah. So it gets sent to less people. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So, so those are a couple of things that are not working maybe quite as well as they yeah. could. I mean, with the online ads, if you've got a huge budget, you know, I mean, I, I've talked to people recently who spent a fortune, you know, filling seminar rooms with people through Facebook ads, but yeah. they, it's, they're probably it's costing them $100, $200 to put, you know, a backside on a seat. Definitely. So it's yeah. got it's got to be, uh, you know, well worth it to you to be able to do that. So what, what are some of the things then that, people should be focusing on? What? Um, I found uh, Google Local, Google My Business, really? is absolutely massive these days. Um, it's almost, I, I would say, king these days. Uh, a lot of people are using maps for their Google Google mm. searches and mm. they're putting in local terms into their Google search, okay. let's just say. So just explain that a little bit more because yeah, so I, I, know, I know you've been doing it for us, but yeah. I don't fully understand it. So. so you basically have to kind of put your business address in and it's going to appear up in, in, in local Correct. Instance. So, yeah. so um, you, you've got a Google My Business page, which uh, you can, if you type that into Google, mm. you'll find yeah. uh, how to set it up. And um, basically it's telling Google that you've got a business address at this location. Mm. Okay. If someone types in, let's just say you're a plumber in Sydney. Mm. Uh, if you type in Sydney Plumber, obviously you want to come up for that mm. in uh, you know, the map, and you mm. want to come up in the organic yeah. search as well. Mm. Um, being in that map, though, is a, a lot more people are actually using the map mm. these days because they want a localised business. Okay. So if you're not in the maps, it's you need to be in there. 
And so, you need to be up there high because there's only three positions in that bit. So Google my business. You heard Google it here. My business. What else? Uh, SEO will always be always be uh, the the king, and that kind of comes mm. into the local SEO with the yeah. Google My Business as well. Okay. Um, so definitely SEO. Um, and what about social media these days? So social media is great. Um, I've I've found it's it's great for people uh, like hobby hobby mm. wise. It's great for fashion. It's mm. great for you know that kind of stuff where people love to browse and look mm. at certain uh, look at the certain things or talk about the certain things or whatever. Mm. Um, for say B two B businesses and stuff like that, doesn't work too well. Um, but when you say it doesn't work too well, I mean you're talking, you know, Facebook, Insta, yeah, Twitter, maybe. Um, I mean, LinkedIn, you'd have to think l- works l- well. LinkedIn does work yeah. well for B two B and YouTube. So yeah. that's probably the only two yeah. that I would focus on if you're yeah. in B two B. Um, uh, B to C, uh, you know, Facebook will always mm. be king when it comes to selling products and stuff like that. Um, and Instagram as well is mm. very big. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And what it, maybe let us into a secret. What sort of things will you be focusing on in the next six to twelve? Local months? SEO. Local SEO. But local SEO is is the big thing at the moment. All right. And you were telling us some really cool stuff that you're going to be looking at over lunch, maybe. Uh, down the track, you can tell yeah, us if that's, that's six or not. months away. Yeah, yeah, that was really interesting stuff, <laughs> which we can't share here. Yeah, we can't share yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of groundbreaking. Yeah. All right. So, what do we get out of that? Um, paid search and emails, oh, not quite as effect- effective as they used to be. A paid ads, sorry, um, but you know the paid ads probably keep it keep a base level going. Mm-hmm. Um, but social media, yes, very important. Uh, Google My Business sounds like it's really the thing to get onto. Definitely. Um, and yeah, it's just keeping on top of it all the time, isn't it? Yeah, That's definitely. the challenge. Mm. Okay, well, hopefully there's some tips there for you. Uh, now you know how it works on the channel. If you enjoy any of this, uh, do comment, do like. Uh, I personally answer most of the comments or the questions, so do ask questions down below. And uh, we have videos coming out every Wednesday, so if you don't want to miss those, hit the subscribe button, and also if you hit that little bell, you'll get notified when the new videos come out. So great to see you again, Alex, and thanks for sharing some tips. Thanks for having me. And we'll have you back very soon, I hope.